Okay, I see some treasure. And there's also deerling over here. Uh, I I'm glad we finally saw the cycles are in the wild. That's so cool. Oh, rotototo! I have a phone call. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation. I guess so. Yes. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Who is that? <gasps> Who are you? It's the Headmaster! What? <laughs> I, I have to take a moment. Because <laughs> the Headmaster is trying to look like a student. How do you do, fellow teenagers? <laughs> Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? The name's Clive. And? How long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Brushfire? Uh, I guess maybe? Ah, <laughs> uh, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Good, now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads. And each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, oh, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is uh, on the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And once more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Brushfire. They're basically declarations of war. Thank you so much, Cassiopeia! Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they'd get anywhere near the boss. 
That's why your skills are essential, essential to this operation, Brushfire. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. Okay. First things first, though. We'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the basis and act as Brushfire support. You're a cautious one, alright. I respect that. I'll be in touch when the plan advances to the next stage. Good luck hunting out there. Well, go get them, Brushfire. Dr. Director Clavel? I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, okay then. Are you still in the cutscene? Was- uh, oh yeah. Clavel was wearing a different outfit for you. What was he wearing? Like a- A button-up, uh, a jacket or definitely a shirt? Oh, yes. Okay. So the only difference was the purple shorts. Okay. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, Light, I have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? Not turning back. Well, all right then. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. And what level are their Pokemon? Twenty-five. Okay then. Chompy Chompy Mary, no! My wiglet! Yes, yes we are. Um, I just... We didn't train our Pokemon quite enough. I'm sorry about that. Yes, fire type is weak to water. Defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Okay. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you the kid that who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Well, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. I still leave me Star. Hey, brush fire. I forgot what the voice is. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I 
Thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but seems you're all set. Foo foom. What? <gasps> foo foo! Oh, it's the Char Cadet! Is that you, Charlos? Whoa. I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this Pokemon yours? This is Charlos the Char Cadet. Hi, buddy. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of when it, within its grounds. Ooh. Ah, Charlos, wait, he ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead to the base brush fire. I completely forgot the voice I was giving him. But I thought it was something like slow and very distinguished and my voice just didn't want to do that. I see you dealt with the Grant standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shader Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her method methods are heavy-handed. Her declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates when you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time yes. Time to wipe the Shader Squad off the map. Yeah. More. Our little buddies need more training, and I want to go back to the Pokemon Center. What is it, Lit Leo? I haven't seen that attack before. There we go. Bye bye, Lit Leo.
Oh, the Steeny, yes. Uh, I think there is... It's the mid-level evolution. So there's something that evolves in the Steeny, and then Steeny evolves into something else. Murkrow, that's a tiny Murkrow. There'll be a, a sparkle on the ground or a glowing Pokeball. Where are you? I've never seen you before. A tad bulb. Huh. That sounds electric. See what a tad bulb is. Oh, it's is um electric type. Oh, Ellie tadpole. Oh, oh, that that Pokemon. Because one of the ones they showed us before the uh, games came out um, was a big electric frog Pokemon. Tad bulb shakes its tail to generate electricity. If it senses danger, it will make its head blink on and off to alert allies. Hmm. Okay. So what moves do you have currently? Okay, and what's the new attack? Hmm. Is it any better than the flying attack you currently have? I mean, does it have a higher, uh, attack than the, uh, the other flying attack? Hey. 
Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's... Yeah, that's, um, it's called PP. So the smaller numbers for that, they're the stronger attack, yeah. Well, uh, PP is the energy to do the move. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it will have like 35 out of 35 like that. But then you got, you also have uh, the power and the accuracy. So which one is um, they're both pretty important. Because, well, if, if you don't have any accuracy, you can't actually hit with all that power, you know? But if you, ha if you have the accuracy and not a lot of power, that's a problem, too. Yes. Yeah. So that sounds like a pretty good attack, considering, yeah. Yeah, so not exactly the same as the battle pets in WoW, is it? <laughs> Although, for, you know, the wild critters in WoW, you can, uh, choose when to battle them. You know, if there's a place to do it. There, you just, you run over a Pokemon by accident, or it runs over you, you gotta fight it, or run away. <laughs> I, I found a trainer I want to battle. Oh ho ho ho! Get ready to see a real chef at work. You are challenged by Eleanor the cook. Slowpoke! Oh yeah, it's just a regular slowpoke. Not very effective. So, um, is there anything else you're confused about? Yeah. Oh yes, the deerling come in four seasons. I don't have 
many fighting attacks right now because I'm trying to level up water type. Okay. Boingy boingy! Go Azelina! You mess. Asselina fell asleep in the air. <laughs> My Pokemon learned all their stuff, and now I'm on to finish the battle. Now why did you go and do that? I just want to make some sandwiches for a picnic. Hey, you're the one who started the battle, not me. Oh, nice. Oh no, I was talking to a, a NPC. Uh, it, after the battle she was complaining that I that she just wanted a picnic and I did a battle, but it's like you asked for a battle, lady. 